The Tip Top 259T is really a different beast. If we look back at the original 259 made in the early 1970s, all of the other companies, Moog, ARP, EMS, you name it, called their sound sources oscillators, which of course came from test oscillators that was their model back in the early 50s electronic music studios. But Don didn't call it an oscillator. He called it a programmable complex waveform generator. This is a whole different ball game. Uh, the other oscillators had fixed waveforms, so it didn't give you much play or experimentation or exploration. You just plug them in and then maybe combine them uh, or frequency or amplitude modulated them. But with this waveform generator, particularly the principal oscillator, we have wave folding, we have high order, and we have symmetry. And so you, there, rather than just having a handful of fixed waves, we have thousands of possible waves. Um, so yeah, start with sine wave, wave fold it. Uh, the order uh, tends to take it towards a spike wave or a sawtooth. The symmetry takes it toward a, a square wave. And the thing is, there, you can blend all three of those together. Uh, so I'm just going to do that now. I'll take a look at the oscilloscope. The other thing that Don uh, did was rather than just having amplitude modulation and uh, frequency modulation uh, coming from the mod oscillator to the principal, he added timbre modulation. I don't think I ever saw timbre modulation on any of those 1970 oscillators. Okay, we'll start with a sine wave, um, fold it a bit, uh, then do some um, symmetry and order. This just in from Gur Milstein, CEO of Tip Top Audio. It's the best description of what's going on with the timbre and harmonics section I've ever seen or heard. Enjoy. Okay guys, so I want to make a video and I show you exactly what's going on over here. Okay, so I got all of them at zero. We are getting the output, final output. Basically it's a it's a, it's a sine wave going through all the circuit, not affected. We're getting a sine wave on the output. Okay. Now um, order defines if we're gonna be using the wave folder or the M shape and sawtooth. Okay, so right now we are on minimum on the order. That means that we are reading, uh, we're taking the output of the wave folder. And if I'm applying timber, I'm actually applying the folding. Okay, here we go. Okay, and when I'm fully up, you can see that I'm getting, um, let me hold it. You can see that I'm getting a very nice uh, symmetrical um, wave folding. Okay, let me erase this. Okay, so that's what timbers does. Okay, it's actually the folder. Um, no. Now, symmetry, what it does, it affects the symmetry of the wave folding by adding a DC signal into the audio coming into the wave folder. So let me show you what it does. You can see that once I start adding it up, it's kind of like, in a way, kind of like screws up the, the fold, right? It's not symmetry. It's not symmetrical anymore. Okay. So that's what uh, symmetry doing when it's in wave folding mode, okay? Now let's turn it back down, okay? And when we turn it back down, we're seeing the sine wave, and the reason we are seeing the sine wave is because the sine wave goes through the wave folder, but because the folding is not opening, we're not folding, what we're getting on the output of the wave folder is the sine wave, okay? Now, when we change the order to the other side, we're basically cross-fading, to another circuit, okay? Again, the input of the circuit is a sine wave, so we're still seeing a sine wave, okay? But this time, we're going to be able to see uh, two different wave shapes, okay? And we are going to select them with this one, okay? So the timber, when I'm turning it up, we're cross-fading from the input sine wave into a sawtooth, okay? 
And now basically um, we are feeding from the M-shaped sawtooth crossfader. And if we go to symmetry, we, this is the crossfader itself. Okay, and we are crossfading to the M or the sawtooth. Okay, so there's a lot of crossfading going on in here. Okay, to summarize, when timbre is at zero, we have a sine wave. When timbre is at max and order is at high, symmetry at even will equal a sawtooth. Symmetry at odd will equal the M wave, which is sort of a modified square wave. Thank you so much, Gur, for this great explanation and for bringing the 259T to the tip-top universe.